So let's quickly talk about the Beehive newsletter template, or in other words, how you can create templates yourself that are going to save you a ton of time. If you haven't gotten to test out Beehive, I will leave my link down below where you can get a free trial, or if you already have it, you can use that for easier login access. In the future, I might be getting a coupon code for you as well. So if you want to upgrade, I'll have a nice little coupon there. I should, where you can save a good amount of money. So what you want to do when you're on your dashboard under right is to simply go to post. I have a post here. So if you haven't created one, that's what you're going to need to do. When you do create your templates, if you go right here, it's going to be under this section where it says use templates. So you can create a draft using a custom template. This is going to save you so much time. This is something I talk about all the time, not just with email marketing, but even landing pages. When you have one landing page that you want to like, and you want to create multiple of them and just change a few things around, saves you so much time. Same thing here. So I have a new post right here. What I'm going to do is click on it. And this is just an example of you know what it looks like in terms of a template. What we can do right here is go to edit post. All right, so in case you're not familiar with how you actually create your newsletter, I will go over it very quickly. So as you can see, this is where you can edit things around. Anytime you bring, say, like your cursor over here, you're just going to say hit enter. And from there, you can just type anything you want. That's where you type in. Or the other main thing is you do a forward slash. And from there, these are going to be some of the basics and the main things that you can do. So if I was to recreate this, which is very easy to do, let's say I want to delete this. I'm going to go here. And at the top, what I want to do, I'm just going to hit enter put my cursor there. I'm going to do the forward slash. And since we had an image, let's go to image. Okay, let's use from library. And I had my marketing island logo. Okay, so I'm going to add that in there. From here, we can go to the settings or the options, and I can make it a little bit smaller if needed, kind of play around with it, how it looks. It's going to be centered. I don't need any borders, but I think that looks pretty good. Let's say we wanted to add text after that. We already do, right? So all we would need to do is just start typing anytime you want to utilize text. Okay. So that is going to be that there. You notice that's just a break there. Now we have some bullets in case you want to use bullets. I'm going to show you how to do that. We have our forward slash and bullet list just like that. So when we type there or when we click on that, it's already there. So something next that you might see is going to be kind of like the divider. So what we can do is this. And if we type in horizontal or H, we have our horizontal rule. So if we do that, you can also just kind of delete it if we want to. So delete. I already have one there, so I'm going to be good. Okay. And how you edit a lot of these things in terms of the spacing is going to be in the design lab. I can do another video about that, or I think I might have done one already, but if you have any questions about that, let me know. This is actually going to be a header. So let's say we had something here and we wanted to do another header. So we can do forward slash and we can look for headers. So it's already right here, you know, heading one, heading two. We can click on this topic number one. And I'm actually using a header two, which is why this one's a little bit bigger. You know, if you want to bold it, we can do that. If we want to change around, let's see some of the colors, we can make it green like that, but I'm just going to delete that. And as you can see, a lot of the things are going to be very repetitive. We have our picture here. Okay. We know how to add an image, right? We have text. We know how to do that. We know how to add our break. Once again, headline, picture, everything we've done text and then we have our line break and then we have a headline and we have something a little bit extra so this is something newer what we can do is forward slash All right, so we have our forward slash there and from there what we can do we can go with a section okay and this is where we can add text now if we hover over on the left side here we can click on this we do visual settings you'll notice we have like background color ours was yellow but so we want to make this green Okay, we have spacings, we have borders. So if we want to do a radius around it, let's say like one uh, thickness, one, a little harder to see. Let's do black. There we go. Something like that. Borders and, you know, spacing. Let's see what back to borders. Let's see. We can do dashed. We can do dotted, dashed, you know, anything like that. We have some spacings in case you want to add more. There we go. And something like that. So that's going to be another way of doing that. There's plenty of ways to kind of create those borders like that, but that's something we can get rid of or delete, whatever it's going to be. Let's do that. Let's just get rid of it. And also just so you know, there is the forward and the backward. So if I keep doing forward and then I can just go backward and it'll get rid of it all. So that's always a good thing. Nevertheless, you know, we kind of like recreated. I showed you how to create that. What you can do now is just simply click on save template and let's call this marketing island. So what we can do is save and view template. So there we go. That's going to be our actual template right here. So 
what makes this great is that we just need to go in there and just change around the text and the pictures. You know, it's just kind of giving you a framework where like the logo is going to stay the same. This is going to be the intro, like the topics are going to change. We're going to have our picture and our headline. And you're just going through and replacing a lot of the stuff that's already there. So that's going to be a great thing. So this is actually going to be in the template section, which I showed you in the beginning. We can simply click on use this template. And just like that, everything is going to be preloaded in there. And this can be our newsletter where we go out, then we can schedule it, we can preview it, we can change it around. But all in all, that's how you can utilize the newsletter templates. We can create a little newsletter, turn it into a template and save you so much time in the future. And don't worry about getting everything 100% perfect. Once you get a template down, that's really going to help save you a lot of time. Doing it and getting it done is so much better than getting it perfect. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if that was helpful, definitely give that video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Should you want to test out Beehive, I will also leave my link in the description where you can get a free trial. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.